In this video, I want to talk about using heavy duty screws to attach your treads and risers to the construction standard lumber you're going to be using for your stair stringers. And I used to use 16 D nails for inch and an eighth treads, or I would use a 7D or an 8D hot dipped or ring shank nail for 3 quarter inch or 5 eighths OSB or plywood. And of course I used adhesive for the treads only. I never used adhesive for the risers and I for sure as heck didn't use adhesive with heavy duty screws or larger nails because I thought they were going to work better. And the reason for that is because larger nails or screws can split the lumber easier. However, pre-drilling the holes for your screws and even larger nails might be the solution to this problem. But I don't think you need to use four inch long screws that are a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch wide. And another reason for that would be to eliminate the screws touching each other. As you can see here, if I was to screw a long screw in down this way and then one this way, there's a very good chance I would end up with something like this at one point. And I'm not about to suggest it won't push the screw over because it can if it doesn't hit the screw dead center. And if that happens, there's a good chance there's going to be enough pressure on the lumber, whether it's going to be on the grain of the lumber or in another area that might create a weak spot. And even though I exaggerated this right here, this is basically what I'm talking about. You could end up splitting the lumber. I've done it before with larger nails. And once this happens, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out you've just created a weak stair stringer. And here's an example of the screw being off a little bit and going off to this side of this screw here. And once that happens, there's a very good chance you're going to break something. And another thing that can happen, and I've had this happen with nails also, is that when I go to nail my riser on, I could actually split the tip off of the stair stringer. I've done this at least a hundred times. And to fix it, I would just simply pull the nail out put some glue on this, stick it back, lower my nail, and then move this nail over here to attach the tread to the stringer. And this becomes a higher probability as the lumber dries out or you're dealing with kiln dried lumber, something that doesn't have much moisture in it. And I'm not about to suggest that you buy lumber with excess of moisture in it because that lumber can shrink and create additional problems for your stairway. And I get it, people don't want to use nails because they don't want to deal with their stair squeaking. However, I don't see a need to use these ridiculously large screws without pre-drilling the holes for them, along with making sure that they don't hit each other. Because even if you have pre-drilled your holes in the wrong spot and you end up with a screw putting pressure on the other screw as it's screwing its way into the lumber and putting more pressure on this section of the lumber, good chance you're going to end up with something breaking. And another idea, of course, would be to use wider lumber, maybe some 4x12s or 3x12s. And again, I don't know how heavy duty of a stairway you're trying to build. So I won't really be able to give you advice on which fasteners to use other than those I've already suggested in the video. And I would also like to thank one of my fellow YouTube channels for inspiring this video because that's exactly what happened to them while they were building what they claimed to be an extremely heavy duty stairway with heavy duty screws.